Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Just your neighborhood, Daddy Boy 4 here, giving you another Black Ops commentary. This time, I'm poning these noobs and these BK Randys on radiation playing Team Deathmatch. Finish the game going 29-2, and my weapon of choice is the Spectre. God, that sounded so gay. I'm sorry, guys, for that. I give you my deepest apologies. That was my attempt at a Captain Quirk's voice. I've been playing a lot of Ratchet and Clank. And I just can't help myself sometimes. But let's get behind the shitty intro and get into this commentary. Now, recently, I know I keep saying this every commentary, I, I'm not uploading it as much as I want to. But what I'm trying to mainly get down packed right now is um, just doing quality over quantity. Meaning, I don't want to post three shitty videos a day when I can upload one minorly shitty, well, it's still shitty video every couple of days. So I kinda hope you guys enjoy this minor poopy commentary. I can't say shitty again. I already said it five times. I'm trying to upgrade my vocabulary when school starts. Hell, who knows? Maybe I can understand and comprehend words such as onomatopoeia and elephantitis, which is pretty much when your genitals go to elephantential sizes. And yes, I did Wikipedia that. So, with all gargantuan balls out of the way, yes, school is going to start soon, and summer is coming to an end, and I'm going to give you guys a special story time here. I know you guys are like, YOU'RE A STORY! And some of you guys are like, DANNY, SHUT YOUR FUCKING MOUTH! But this is a good one, and usually around this time, which is like August 20th to the 23rd, there's this thing that goes on across my house called the Greek Festival. And what happens during this sort of a shindig is people come together who are Greek and go to the church. They, uh, they do a fundraiser to help the church, and by doing this, they try to sell food, which is delicious to say the fact, but, and like, um, sell, like, crystal meth, nah, I don't know what else they sell. Like, some valuables and collectibles, and the pudding pops. And these people are loaded as hell, like, I see them... Parking outside, like, my street with Bentleys, Corvettes, BMWs, Audis, and all that, like, expensive shit that nobody on my street and or town can afford. And the day after the Greek Fest ended, my sister and I were playing soccer in the yard. I know I told you several times I'm a big soccer junkie. And yes, soccer is my heroin. And what happened accidentally was, as we were playing around, I shanked it clear over to where the Greek lot was, where the Greek Fest was held. And what my sister and I did to get the ball back was we would normally do a rocks, paper, scissors, and whoever were to win had to go over and get the ball. And I'm not saying, like, yes, it's just a lot over, but the only way to access that lot is to go all the way around our street, which is a bitch to get to. And, of course, your boy sucks at rocks, paper, scissors, and I had to go fetch the ball completely naked. I mean, what? So as I was encompassing on my journey to the Greek lot, I stumbled upon something shiny, chilling in the bushes. Of course my ADD kicked in, I couldn't help myself. Now what the shiny thing was, it was actually a money clip, and a pretty cool one to be exact, it sounds nerdy, but what was more intriguing to me in my 14 year old mind at the time was that there was $300 and $100 bills in there. And now what first thing that came to my mind was GROUP HUG IN THE SHOWERS TONIGHT! I mean, what? No, but actually it was like <gasps> I was making gorilla noises out of nowhere, I didn't know what the fuck was up with me. So, I did take the money, I didn't tell my parents about it, which was a very bad, bad idea. And, I kept the money. Now what my parents usually do, is whenever they're loaning money, like for gas, they usually loan money from me, without actually telling me. And I keep my money pretty much in the same place all the time. So a week after I did find the money, my mom started asking me questions how I randomly got $300 in my drawer. And of course I had to tell her the truth at this time because she'd probably think I'd be selling drugs like cocaine and heroin and meth. So what happened was I had to donate the money to the church and I didn't get a penny of it. Thanks mom. Peace out.